All right, so I want to talk about something while I'm driving the car with no hands. Look, get in in your own head. So I've been getting in my own head a little bit this week. And I remember Tony Robbins, right? Um, there's one of the things I remember about Tony um, is he used to say, you're always going to get inside your own head. You are going to get negative as you're, you know, if you're building a business, you're in a, in a high pressure environment. But how fast can you get over it? So can, does it take you a day? Does it take you a week? Does it take you a month? Does it take you one minute? I'd rather get over it in a minute, right? So he says what you got to do is you just got to figure out a way to do that. And everyone is slightly different. And what he means by that is you have to figure it out for yourself. Right? There is no pro forma right, that you can follow. There is no concept that works for somebody else that may work for you. Look at my, and you can go and search for that. But I thought I'd talk a little bit about what I do. Uh, I lock myself in a room and cry myself to sleep. No, I'm just joking, I don't do that. But I do lock myself in a room, but I do it for a very short period. And what I normally do is I like, um, I like that stoic philosophy, right? So Marcus Aurelius wrote in Meditations, what stands in the way becomes the way. So, you know, I, you, everyone knows uh, the obstacle is the way, it's sort of what I build, build everything on. And this guy's driving super slow. And uh, so I go in and, and I attack the problem, right? I think, how can this problem for me be a, be a solution? Whether it's a simple learning or whether it's gonna create another idea or whether it's gonna push me into another space to be a little bit better than what I was before when this situation occurred, right? So uh, bad shit's gonna happen. Uh, you're gonna get hit and it's gonna happen all the time. You know, uh, three or four things can go wrong in one day. Uh, it just it just can in business. There's so many things you're running through and going through and things will go wrong Shit will go wrong. Another thing is to change your expectations to, to, to Reality and that shit will go wrong in the course of a day a week an hour a meeting right? uh, And it's okay because no one's gonna die unless someone dies of course, but no one's gonna die You just have to you've got to find some recourse. You got to find a, a Platform in an environment that you can quickly think about it and get over it and move quickly through that so can you get over something in a, in a minute? Super fast. You get hit, something happens to you, can you get over it in a minute? Uh, so again, my concept is lock myself in a room. I normally whiteboard things or write them down. It helps me contextualize stuff. Uh, and I think about it and the conclusion I normally come to when I'm in my own head, which I've been into this week, and is, and we all do it by the way, is it's actually not that bad, right? I normally figure out that it's actually not that bad. So human emotion, you know, uh, grows really quickly when you're being reactive and normally you overthink things and you become over emotional about things. But when you get a little bit of time to think, it normally subsides, you calm down a little bit, you go, well, fuck, you know what? It's not as bad as I thought it was. And then you build out from there. So writing it down for me and closing the door just for one, two to five minutes maximum. I don't go past that because you don't want to sit in your office, in your room for 30 minutes, 60 minutes, getting in your own head, it could make it worse, right? So you want to move really, really fast. Hope that helps.